So uh, kind of hard to make kombucha, but me and Dad made it, of course. You have to wait a couple days and then and then when it's ready, um, you have to put in a bottle and you pour another cup of kombucha. Then you have to put you have to put oops, yeah, and then sometimes you can put tea in. Mm -hmm. And but uh, sometimes uh, you you pour sugar and stuff you want to stun to the stun and you put in a bottle and you get a bottle copper and it bottles it on and if one has the oh. <laughs> Uh, a swing top? If there's a swing top, then we can get a cap pump. We'll just use a swing top bottle. Yeah. So, do you remember what else we put in this batch of kombucha other than just water and sugar? And um, So, we used a, a commercial bottle of kombucha. Uh -huh. And then we put, remember Daddy, you, you grated something up and we put it in there. Do you remember what that was called? It was called ginger. So, we grated up some ginger and put it in there. Now, in retrospect, we probably shouldn't have put the ginger in there directly, or if we did, we should have put it in like a piece of cheesecloth. Because now the mother has grown around the ginger, so we may have to cut that out, or maybe even see if we can make a new mother, or we'll figure that out later. How do you make a new mother? Well, that's a good question. So, we'll talk about that in a minute. But for right now, we are going to get ready to start bottling, and then we'll talk about uh, making some more. So, what do you say to bottle up some kombucha? Okay. Right. It's ready. So. Okay. So let's tell everybody what we have here. We've got four previously loved Sam Adams beer bottles. Mm -hmm. And then two swing top bottles. One used to have French lemonade in it. And one had, I don't know, some kind of apple cider. We've got a bottle capper and four bottle caps for our beer bottles. Now this is our kombucha. So, we've covered it up with a lid. Now, if you've never seen kombucha, you may be looking at this thinking, that is not appetizing. That stuff you see on the top there is the mother. Mm. Similar to what they use. In fact, I think they use the same term. I think they also call it a mother. So there was nothing on top of this when we put it together. Now, something I pointed out earlier is we added chopped up ginger directly to it which I would do at the bottling stage next time. So we may have to see if we can uh, get this mother out. How are we gonna get her out Without the uh, ginger. So, we are now. So our hands are gonna get all dirty. Nope, we're gonna, we're gonna use that little spigot right there to fill up our bottles. Just spigot. Spigot. Just spigot. That little thing right there? That, that red thing? That's a spigot. So what we do is, we remember when we turn this and stuff comes out right here? Mm -hmm. So we're going to put our bottles into there, but we're going to be careful not to let our bottles touch because we don't want our, to contaminate our bottles or our spigot. So, and there is our beautiful kombucha. Now if you've never had kombucha, I'll explain the mother a little bit here. So this thing on top is sometimes referred to as a SCOBY. S-C-O-B. And what that stands for is Symbiotic Colony and of Bacteria is, and Yeast. And Let's in mother, she's probably up there, of course. And, uh... This is a bad video. So, tell me what you know about the mother, Abby. I know that she likes to be on top. <laughs> um, okay. Do you know anything else? Yep, she sits on top of the she sits on top of the tea, and, and we call it a tea even though it doesn't her, necessarily have tea leaves in it. And actually, her she sheds her old skin. That's right. So she kind of grows in layers. So yeah. the and symbiotic the colony of bacteria and yeast. Mm -hmm. So what it does is there's there are yeast in there. And there's good bugs. Yes, there are healthy bugs. We call those what probiotics. Probiotics. That's right. And another day, I tried it. <laughs> Was it good? Did you enjoy yes. it? Excellent. Yeah, yeah. So, the, the, what happens is, is we put sugar in there, so we have a, a sugar water, and the bacteria and the yeast, they actually work together to process 
that sugar. And they process it into something called acetic acid, as well as carbon dioxide. And acetic acid is vinegar. Remember, not touch the spigot, please. We don't want to get dirty. It's, it is carbon, so but carbon dioxide and acetic acid. So basically, it's carbonation, the bubbles, you like the bubbles, and vinegar, which is the kind of sour taste. Well, that's right. So what we're going to do is we're going to put, uh, relax, we're going to put some of this into uh, some bottles. All right, so here we have our first bottle. Now I want you to hold this bottle with both hands, okay? I want you to hold it under this spigot, but don't let it touch the spigot, okay? Can you do that for me? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to turn as best I can. See that? Oops. Okay. Get it right there. Hold on. Yeah, it's the, 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 the jar slipped a little bit when I went to turn it off, so i got to fill it up a little bit more. You don't want too much air in the top. There we go. Okay, now put that bottle up. Oops, sorry, put that bottle on the countertop. All right, we are going to fill this another bottle. So you're ready to hold the bottle, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's hold that bottle. Remember to hold it under the spigot, but don't let it touch the spigot. Two hands in, two hands in the bottle. So remember, you're going to let it touch it. Move it down just a little bit. Okay. Watch where it's going. Don't watch the camera right now. Oh, see? That's what I'm saying. Don't watch the camera. Hey, focus on the bottle, okay? Slow, 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 slow. We don't want to overfill them. So we'll leave about an inch of space. Okay, put that bottle up next to that one. Yep, be a little heavier. All right, dear. So here we are. Now we have our bottle. And then we have our little bottle cap, available on Amazon and such places. We're gonna set that, and if you notice, let's see if I can get this close to where the camera can really see it well. That is not like a normal one. That's probably not. Uh, let's see if you can focus on that at all. Anyway, that is not like the cap that you find on the bottle, of course, because it's not it's flared out. So, it'll get but flared over. It's all okay. And that's, and that's how it'll seal. So, we gotta make sure it's on there properly. It's got a little lip on the inside. The, the bottle cap does. There's a little ring. See a little ring, Abby? See, see a little ring on the inside? So we need to make sure that ring gets right on top of the bottle cap. So we should set it down on there, and then it'll kind of sit in one place. Okay, so now the next step we need to do is we gotta use our bottle capper. So we gotta get the bottle cap has to sit in this piece right here. Okay. And this piece right here. Oh, no, 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 no. We, we, we leave it on the bottle. We bring the bottle capper to the bottle. So it's gonna sit right in the middle there. Actually, you know what? I wonder if you can put it on there. Oh, you can't. It's got a magnet for it. How about that? Smart girl. Smarter than dad. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna get that on the middle of the bottle. And then when we get it on there, I'm gonna show you how it's gonna work. We're gonna take it, we're gonna put it down. And when we get it nice and centered, we're going to squeeze it. I don't want to squeeze it because I don't want to run it right now. But that's what's going to happen, okay? Yeah. So you're going to have to help me squeeze it. We're going to have to get that bottle right down on there. So yeah. first thing we got to do is we got to get the bottle cap on the bottle cap. Good job. Make sure it's nice and centered. It's nice and centered, okay. Now we got to pull the handles down. Okay, you can help me. Count of three. One, two, three. Push down. And push down until it stops. And we let it off. What do you think of that? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Oh, feels good. No leaks. Yeah. All right, I think we got a good seal. What do you call that? Oops, bad, bad filming that, Dad. That is one bottle of kombucha. Our first bottle. What do you say we make three more bottles? You ready? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, we will start this up. We might not get the big bottle. This may be the last bottle, because otherwise we may run a little low on kombucha. Trying to make a mess. Keep watching where you're going. Don't worry about where the drops go. They're already over the dam. Water over the dam's not a problem. Water behind the dam. Water behind the dam. It's a different story. Ooh, that one got pretty full. Got a little bit of a mess there. We'll clean up. Yeah. Yep, don't. Me? Okay. Yep, yeah, just hold it. Don't let it get anywhere else. Right there. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. Make a little bit of room. Okay, so the way these swing tops work, it's pretty neat. 
All right, so what we'll do is we will, here's our swing top. We'll bring it up on top. So it's got this, see this little thing here? This is the seal, and this seals it to the, to the glass. So, is that a suction cup? It's not a suction cup, it's just a seal, it's a rubber seal. And so then, this little piece right here, let's see if I can show everybody here. This little piece right here, we push that down. Can you push it down? Not this part, we gotta push this, this bar down here. So I'll help you, it's a little hard. Push, 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 push. Oh, did we get your fingers? Oh, good. No fingers. And so there we go, nice and sealed. Awesome. I'm unlocking stuff you spill, then go off the floor. Not too much in my glass. That to the side. Yes. Alright, sweetie. So, cheers. Bottoms up. What do you think? Do you like it? How would you describe it? I love it. You love it? Now, what would you say? Would you say it was sour? A little sour, but too is sour. It, is it sweet? It's a little sweet? Is it a lot sweet or just a little sweet? Five sweets? That's quite a bit. Alrighty. So that's us bottling our kombucha. Mm -hmm. And uh, next time we'll make some more. Yes, sir. Let's show you again.